So hello everybody, it's time now for another Feature Friday. Have you ever thought to put maintenance and operational schedules on your assets or location records? You're like, why would you even do that? Well, let me show you why, and it's a little used feature that's been in the uh, product for quite a while. Okay, so where do we get started? Well, I've already logged into Application Suite here, particularly Manage. You can do the same thing in Maximo. And I go to Assets, open up the Assets application, and you'll notice down here on the left-hand side, I have Define Maintenance Schedule and Define the Operational Schedule. And I'm going to go ahead and fill my list here with just a, a number of assets. I've got 42 assets, and I can come down here, and for this set of assets, I can define what the schedule could be. So if I have assets at a certain location or a certain type or whatever, however I wish to group the assets, I can and then apply a particular schedule, whether maintenance or operational or both, uh, to those sets of assets. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the one here for maintenance, and you can see here's my list of assets, and I can start the process of building this calendar, which I'm going to show you here in just a moment on a particular asset. Okay, So I can do it in groups, uh, but for our purposes here, I'm just going to show you this one in particular. Okay, And so there's my engine. And since I already have it defined, or some schedules defined, then I can take a look at how to manage them. So I could define more schedules, I could manage the existing, uh, whether it's maintenance or whether it's operational, okay? So let's start with the third option here, and that is the calendar, and that's over here on the right-hand side in my system, the calendar that the asset or location is going to be using. Now you don't have to have this calendar defined uh, to do this, but it really helps to have the asset following some type of corporate calendar. Uh, in my particular case here, this is just a 2023 calendar, and I have an entire shift that it covers 24 by 7. So if I had different shifts for like the day shift and night shift and stuff, um, I could uh, use that here, right? But for our purposes, I just want to have a calendar that this asset is going to be you know, following to some extent. So then the next thing is probably the operational schedule. Go back over here to the left, and I'm going to click Manage Operational Schedule. And you can see that I've already built one. Okay, um, This particular calendar is for the entire year of 2023. And basically what I'm saying is that from an operational standpoint, this asset is basically running, and it's in service, if you will, uh, between 6 a.m. and noon every day, okay? So most assets perhaps are running 24-7 or they're running in some other kind of schedule, but for this particular asset, its main operational period of time is going to be between 6 a.m. and uh, noon every single day. So this would be a period of time when perhaps maintenance, or having to do maintenance, would not be desired. Okay, And it's a simple matter of hitting the plus sign, scheduling out your, your type here. I'll show you the different types that you have. Um, you know, this can be an annual schedule. This could be biweekly, custom. You know, I just chose a, a daily schedule here. Okay, And you simply define what your type is, what your start and stop times are, uh, and then run the calendar. Okay. That's the operational schedule. This is when, I'll just repeat myself to say that this is when we would expect this piece of equipment to be operating, okay? All right, so now on the maintenance schedule, I'm gonna manage the maintenance schedule. This would be the times when we would like the equipment to be maintained if it needs to be, okay? So you could say, the argue's sake, you could say that this would be the time outside of your operational time, and you could make your maintenance schedule to look like that if you'd like. But what I've said here for this particular asset is that on a weekly basis, it would be best if you did your maintenance between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. That's two hours that's outside of my operational schedule uh, where you could come in and do maintenance. Not to say you couldn't do maintenance some other time, 
but this would be the optimal time to do that. Maybe the right people are usually in place. It's just right after the operational period, um, so people are still around, you know, whatever, okay? So again, same idea, click the plus sign, build your pattern here, and, and, and lay this out for whatever period of time that you'd like, okay? Okay, so why would you do this? Well, here's the advantage to it. So if you are using the graphical scheduling applications, and I'll just open up graphical scheduling here as, a, as an example, and I'm gonna open up a particular schedule that I'm working on, okay? So you have a group of planners and they're trying to plan your work and such. So how about giving them some information about whether or not the asset or locations that they are intending to do work with are actually available. They have no idea what the operational uh, schedules are for different assets um, and perhaps the maintenance windows that would be preferred. So if I'm working my schedule here, open up the graphical view and give it a moment to, to render, I'm gonna go take a look at a particular work order and see how available or not the, uh, the assets are, okay? So here's my list of work orders for this particular schedule. And I'm gonna focus on this one work order here, 1478, and come over and I'm gonna do a right click. And I can roll down and I can see other resources availability, okay? And lo and behold, I see that this particular asset that I set those schedules for, and I didn't show you, but it's related to that work order. We have something to do with that asset. And you can see in my calendar over here, I have some uh, colored indications, and I'm going to go see what those are all about. So if I go ahead and zoom in here, and I'm going to zoom in quite a way so you can start to see things, okay? The orange representation, that is the calendar that is associated with the asset, okay? So in, in this particular use case, it's kind of superfluous that that calendar is there. I wouldn't, I don't need to have that there. But it does show me that if the asset is related to a calendar, then it, it is covered during this, this period of time. The red is the operational schedule. This is the time when I have said I am using this asset I cannot do maintenance during this period of time. Makes sense, it's, it's red. It may be very hard to see on the screen, but on every Friday from 1 to 3 p.m., there's a little tiny green sliver right here. There's one here on the 24th, and there's one over here on, on the, uh, the 31st. Remember, we're talking March of 2023, so this is not Halloween. Um, but that little tiny green sliver right there is that sliver of maintenance, the preferred maintenance period of time as set in that maintenance schedule on the asset, okay? So this is very valuable when it comes to your planners because they are able to see when the equipment is typically in operation and when might be these very narrow or in some cases very wide maintenance periods and then they would be able to adjust the work order, make assignments, and make their plans accordingly. So that's kind of cool, setting a schedule over on your assets and locations, and it just automatically provides all kinds of information over to your schedulers who are using those graphical scheduling apps. So uh, you'll have to work with that a little bit to decide which assets get what schedules, uh, and then certainly notify your planners that they have that information available to them uh, now as well. So again, hopefully that was helpful. We'll see you again next Friday. Thank you.